today we are going to learn how to remove white background from logos in adobe photoshop so if your client send you a low resolution image and you are very worried about how to remove the white background i'm here to help you so i will show you the best method to remove the white background you have to go to channels panel and then find the channel with the high contrast in this case we have the high contrast with the blue channel and the red channel the red channel is high contrast with this text and the blue channel is high contrast with the, this icon. So I will make a copy of either of these uh, channels and then combine with the other channel. So I will just make a copy of this red channel and I will combine this red copy with the, our blue channel. To do this simply go to image and then simply go to uh, apply image. From here you can simply select the other channel that was high contrast. So I will choose blue and as you can see I have selected the blue our whole logo is completely black. And From here select the multiply blending mode and turn on the preview to see before and after. Simply hit ok. Now I will improve our this logo more to improve it a little bit more. Uh, as you can see if I zoom in that our black pixels that are on sides are not completely black. So what I will do is I will go to image again and then adjustments and then levels. From here I will improve the quality of our, our logo. As you can see I, I, I slide this slider and as you can see our uh, the side pixels are completely getting black. I will not go further just a little bit to improve the quality a little bit more and just press ok. So now you can see our logo is completely black but here is a problem that if I control click here as you can see our white background is selecting not our logo. I can press control shift I to, to uh, invert the selection but I can uh, what, uh, what I can also do is control plus I to invert, invert it and then control click here to select our this logo. Now I can press here to RGB color and go to layers and simply select on our layer mask and as you can see as I select the layer mask our background is removed. Here you can also another step you can also uh, create a black and white version of your logo. I just simply control click here command click on the Mac control click on window just click here. So I control, I press and hold control key and just click here to select this and go to adjustment layer and solid color adjustment layer and from here I can choose any color for my logo but I will choose black because I want a completely black color of my logo. So I will just press ok. Here is another optional step what you can do is you can just simply click here again and go to solid color adjustment layer and choose any color. You can also uh, choose the color that was before with the eyedropper tool maybe that was green you can do that with eyedropper tool and then you can press uh, you can select the brush tool and with the black color is foreground you can simply paint over here and now you have only the icon version of this and you can simply repeat the step again go to the solid color adjustment layer and choose another color maybe red and ok and then with the layer mask select selected go to brush tool again and foreground is foreground color is black simply paint over here so now you have text version of your color so you can simply change the colors later if you want so if I want to, uh, if I want this uh, logo colors, I will just uh, simply go to the uh, eyedropper tool again, select this color and control V here. Sorry, control C and control V here to copy this. And same step again, uh, select this color and copy this code 
and go to this there uh, sorry double click here and then control V here paste here the code and press OK and now you have uh, you don't need this logo anymore you have the color version of your logo and you also have a black and white version of your logo here you can also create a completely white background behind all of this so you have your logo you can uh, in, in future if your client want to change the color of your logo you can simply double click here and choose another color and click ok so now you have another color uh, version of your logo so that's how you can change the color of your logo you can simply remove the background of your logo and you can improve the quality of your logo in photoshop here is another method to remove the background of your logo that is completely black and white so what you can do is simply uh, i will unlock this layer and double click here first i will uh, create a solid color adjustment layer behind this so you uh, so you will see what is happening i will go to adjustments adjustment layer solid color adjustment layer and i will select a darker color so you will see what is actually happening so i will double click here and i will click and drag this as you can see our white background is removing so drag it until all the whites are completely removed now you can press and hold alt key on keyboard and just drag this and drag it until white is revealing back that's it that's how you can remove the white background very quickly in photoshop but as you can see the our smaller text is also getting removed a little bit so what you can do do is double click here again and just click here again press ok that's it that's how you can remove the white background very quickly in uh, high contrast logos that is completely black i hope you enjoy the tutorial and if you enjoy it and if you have learned something new please consider subscribing and share this video with your friends thanks for watching